So there's something in your life that you're not happy about that you want to change. And you decide to do something about it and you're great at it, you're working hard and you're doing it for about two weeks and then before you know it, you find yourself frozen on the couch, back to your old ways like my friends here. <laughs> Today we're going to find out why that is and what you can do about it. Welcome back to The Goal Getter Life. I'm Cindy Knorr, Change Agent with Synergy Coaching. Today we're going to talk about why it is that whenever you start a new habit or you try to change your life in any way, it just doesn't stick. This is something that nobody's talking about, but it's going to blow your mind once you find out why. Say you want to lose weight or you're feeling really out of shape, you want to exercise more, or you want to get out of debt, or like any goal at all that you have in your life, the thing that most people think about right away is their actions and their behaviors. Actions and behaviors. And that's what you focus on. You're gonna do something about it, you get right into it. And the reason it doesn't work is because you do these things for a while and most people don't do them long enough for them to become habits. You know that. We talk about actions and behaviors and habits all the time. And that, these two things, that's all anybody focuses on. The reason they don't work is because there's a whole lot more to the equation. And I'm gonna tell you all about the different things. We have actions and behaviors, but then we have habits. And in order for the habits to work, you need to do these actions and behaviors for more than 21 days. They used to say it takes 21 days to make a habit, but now they're saying it's 66. Depending on what you're doing, it's gonna take a varying amount of time and depending on each person, somebody might learn something or instill something as a habit faster. So you just gotta keep doing whatever it is every day, that's the ticket, every day until it becomes a habit. All right, we got that. Everybody knows about actions and behavior and habits. The thing that makes it possible for you to make these habits and to actually keep them is something that happens above. Do you have an idea what that is? It's your beliefs, okay? Most people don't think about their beliefs, but it's because your beliefs here, if you don't believe you can do it, or that it'll last for you, like say you want to lose weight but your whole family is overweight or you've lost weight before and you always gain it back, whatever it is in your beliefs, if it's about money and you say you want to get out of debt but you, your belief is I always live paycheck to paycheck, you know, you've got to check your belief because it does not matter. It doesn't matter at all what you do. You are never, your habits are, if you, even if you make a habit, you're gonna revert back to your old ways. Okay? That's huge, right? That you never thought about your beliefs before. So whenever you have a habit that's not working for you, take the time and just go up in this chain and figure out what it is about your beliefs. What do you believe about yourself? And there's a lot of crazy money mindset stuff about rich people are crooks and you know all the things like that. You, that you have to like swindle someone in order for yourself to, to do well in life. I don't know, whatever your beliefs are, money doesn't grow on trees. Think about your beliefs. And then the next step is, what do you do if you don't like those beliefs? If you notice that they are unproductive and they're not gonna serve you in these habits that you wanna change your life, what do you do to change those beliefs? So what do you do about it if you have some funky beliefs that you want to get rid of? Do you know how your beliefs are created? By your thoughts. And that is how you're going to change your beliefs. You have to change your thoughts. And I don't mean affirmations where you're just going to say, I'm so rich, because your brain will say, yeah, right, when it says, look at your big pile of bills over there, or you do live paycheck to paycheck. But the way to change your thoughts is to think about, there's, there's so many different ways. I can tell you a few. Visualizations is one. You can think about yourself 
already being successful and wonder what things I have to do in order to make that possible for me. Instead of thinking about all the problems that you have, think about who do I need to become in order to, to be able to do the things that I want in my life and have the goals that I want. You can change your thoughts any day. You don't have to focus on the negative. You can think about what skills you might want to develop so that you can get better at your job and make more money. You know, there's so many productive ways to change your thoughts, but you have to change your thoughts before you can change your beliefs, before you can change your habits and make them stick. And then you'll be able to do those actions every day and you'll notice the big difference. There are a lot of things in your life right now. Some of them you think you can't control. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. But first, I want to tell you that everything that we talked about so far has to do with your identity. So your thoughts and your beliefs and your habits and the actions that you take, all of those things, the more often that you do something, the more often something happens in your life, you absorb all of that and you say, I am shy or I'm intelligent or I can figure things out. All of these things make up your identity. And what I want to tell you is that your identity is not stuck like this dude. Your identity is something that you can change any time you want. If you're not happy with it, if you feel like you, you're uncomfortable speaking in front of people, you can go to Toastmasters. There's an example for anything that you want to change in your life. So you, you'll change your actions and your behaviors all the way up to your thoughts and that'll change your identity. There's one more thing for you to keep in mind, and that is your environment. And that has to do with everything from the people that you hang around with to the kind of food that you have in your home. There's a saying that self-control begins in the grocery store, not in your pantry. So if you have a great big chocolate cake sitting on your counter, you're not going to be able to fight with the cake. The cake is going to win. You're going to eventually eat it. Some time without you even knowing it, you're going to start nibbling away at it. And if you didn't buy the cake in the first place and you had self-control in the grocery store, then you'd be better off. So you have a lot more control over your environment than you think. So whenever you find yourself stuck or getting frustrated that a habit that you tried to make isn't working, Cut yourself some slack and realize that it's not just about your habits. It's not just about the actions that you take. There's so much more that's involved, the things that we talked about today. Think about your beliefs and your mindset and your thoughts and your environment. And think about the identity that you've given yourself. Realize you can change all of those. Thank you so much for being here and for being committed to improving your life. You're not going to figure out everything in one day. It's taken you many years to get where you are and it's going to take you a lot of time to get these things figured out. So cut yourself some slack. For more everyday strategies on how to be your best and how to live an awesome life, subscribe to this channel. Comment, like and share it with anyone you think might benefit. I'm Cindy Kanor. The best in me recognizes and honors the very best.